Hello everyone, I'll be walking you through the process of making this beautiful design from the beginning to the end. Yeah, from the beginning to the end. For the sake of the first time viewers, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm a dear love than the fashion screen. So fashion designs and bag making. But this channel is purposely for bag making. Well, well, let's just get into today's tutorial without wasting much of our time. This design is actually a one piece um body. We are one piece body with two sides. So for the length I'll be working with for the front body I'll be working with eight inches of length. For the bottom I'll be working with four and a half inches. And then for the back measurement I'll be working with the same measurement as the front, which is the eight inches. And then for the flap I'll be working with two inches for the handle part and then five inches for the flap. So we have seven inches in total. Do you understand? So for the width I'll be working with. 10 inches of width yeah 10 inches of width and on the flap side i'll be giving it a slant shape i'll be giving it a slant shape so the first thing i need to do now is to take the pattern and use it to cut my carry board here i'll be working with the carry board a very thick one very thick one so i'll be working with the add one so i'll just use the pattern to cut out the carry board and then create out the and then rule out the lines and then after reading out the lines, I'll be folding it into shape. So after folding it into shape, I'll be applying my gum and then I'll be gumming it to the material that I'll be working with. Yeah. Please, anytime you apply a gum, make sure it's dry a little bit before you applying it to the before you fixing it to the leather material you'll be working with. Do you understand? So here is me trying to fix it to the leather material. Um, working with and then after that I'll be leaving one inch on all sides for folding allowance yes one inch on all side for folding allowance please this part listen attentively if you're working with cylinder bed machine I'm actually doing this video in in favor of those people that are going to work with um lem, with the German sewing machine do you understand So in this part when folding and i won't be folding directly on the carry board i'll be i'll still be folding on the leather material not on the carry board do you understand so that when you want to sew it will be very easier for you to sew even on your manual sewing machine do you understand so next time if i'm working with my own cylinder bed mesh i'll just leave half inch on all sides do you understand and then i'll be folding directly on the carry board since i'm working with a cylinder bed machine do you understand so i won't have issue my machine won't have issue mounting the art um carry board but for the sake of the those people that we working with manual sewing machine this is the best method for you just leave one inch on all sides and then when folding you fold on the material not directly on the carry board do you understand just the way i'm doing so you fold out that was where i left one inch on all sides so i can fold half inch on half inch which is still going to be the folding on the material do you understand Now the next thing I need to do now is to cut my lining, but the, the lining will be divided into two parts. Do you understand? Into two parts. So the first part is going to the flap. Is going to be the flap part. In the five inches with the two inches, making seven inches in total. So I'll be cutting that out, and then I will be leaving one inch on all sides as well. Do you understand? So I'll be leaving one inch on all sides. That is going to be for the folding part, and then for the remaining measurements, I'll be making use of another um, leather material. 
do you understand so the first thing I need to do now to the flap is to apply my gum and then fold that part I'll be folding that part yes So once I'm done with the folded part, I'll be taking the remaining piece of lining and then I'll be joining it. But before joining it to it, I'll be fixing my zip. I'll be fixing my zipper before joining it to it. So this is the remaining part of the lining and then I'll be fixing my zipper. So in fixing my zipper, from the upper part, I'll be coming down by two and a half inches. So on both sides, don't forget from the upper part, I'll be coming up, I'll be coming down by two and a half inches. And then on both sides, I'll be leaving about two inches. Do you like I'll be leaving two, two inches on both sides. So the remaining is going to be for the fixing of the zipper. Please, I would like you to watch this part closely so that you can see how I'm cutting um, this piece just and like this part so that you can see how I'm cutting it. So the next thing I need to do now is to apply a gum. I'll be applying a gum to that part where I cut and then I'll be folding about one quarter of an inch on all sides. Once I'm done with that, I'll be fixing my zipper and then in the process of you fixing your zipper, don't forget to fix in your zip head.
please note there are diverse way of you fixing in a pocket to this kind of bag you understand this is just one of the ways but there are diverse way So once I'm done with the zipper, the next thing I need to cut now is a little piece of material which is going to serve as the inner pocket, do you understand? So the width I'm working with is the width of the width of the zipper, do you understand? So I just added about half, half inch on both sides and then for the length I'll be working with about 6 inches of length, yeah 6 inches of length. So what I need to do is just to place it under the zipper and then run the stitch from one end to another end. So once I'm done with that, the next thing I need to do now is to join it to the other line. Don't forget, I said the line is divided into two, which is the flat part and the remaining piece of the body. Do you understand? So I'll be joining both together now. And once I'm done with the joining, I'll be top stitching. Please don't forget to top stitch. So the next thing I need to cut now is this side piece. I'll be needing two pieces of that. So for the upper part, which is this is the side, for the upper part I'll be working with four and a half inches. And then at the down part, I'll be working with five and a half inches. Do you understand? Don't forget I cut five and a half inches initially. Then at the upper part, I have to slant it on I have to slant it by reducing it half half inch on both sides. So I'm left with four and a half inches. Do you understand? So at the down part, I gave it a reduction of half half inch on both sides. So we are left with four and a half inches. This four and a half inches is the initial measurement for the bottom. Do you understand? So the half half inches on both sides that I added, making five and a half inches, is the sewing allowance. Can you see the way it is? So it is the sewing allowance. And then at the upper part, I make use of four and a half inches. So I'll be needing two pieces of that, two pieces of that. I already added cardboard to it, just normal cardboard. Do you understand? Those measurements that I mentioned earlier are uh, the actual measurements, and that was what I cut for the cardboard. Do you understand? But when gluing the cardboard to the leather material, I added half an inch on all sides. Do you understand? For folding allowance, including the upper part. So now in fixing my lining, I'll be fixing the right side of the lining facing the wrong side of the um, side, do you understand, like facing the cardboard, do you understand, and then I'll be running a stitch across it.
I will only be running the stage at the upper part, just at the upper part, the other stand. So for the rest, I'll be applying my gum and then I'll be gluing it together. So once I'm done with the glue, I'll be leaving it to dry a bit before gumming both together, do you understand? So once I'm done with that, I'll be trimming off the excess. Please make sure you trim it very well so that the black um, lining don't show after you are done sewing, do you understand? Please make sure you trim it very well. So the next thing I need to do now is to um, apply gum to this inner lining and then fix it to the body. But before I do that, I'll be fixing my magnetic snap first yeah i'll be fixing my magnetic snap first So once I'm done fixing my magnetic snap, I'll be applying glue to the lining and then fix it to the body. Please this part, you have to fix it gently so that the lining doesn't get squeezed, do you understand? In this process also I'll be fixing my bottom stand here, I'll be fixing my bottom stand before I fix the lining. So once I'm done with that, the next thing I need to do as regards the folding of this part, I'll be folding half an inch, yes, I'll be folding half an inch on this part, just half an inch on this part. Please, if you observe very well, you see that the it is only the flat part. I mean, I'm talking about the lining now. It is only the flat part that I folded half an inch on all sides. But when it comes to the lining, I didn't fold any half an inch on the side do you understand because once i'm done with this glue part now i'll be fig i'll be trimming off the excess do you understand it but at the upper part of this um, front body i'll be folding half an inch do you understand so in this process also many magnetic snap i'll be fixing it yes i'll be fixing it Please make sure it is well positioned, yeah, please make sure it is well positioned. So the next thing now is to fix the side but before fixing the side like i said earlier i'll be trimming off the essays on this part on the part of the lining i'll be trimming off the essays on both sides
so the next thing i need to do now is to sew some um important part of this bag so the input the first important part of this bag is the flap so i'll be sewing from one end to another end just the flap do you understand so i'll be sewing the flap first And the second important part that I need to sew now is the upper part, the upper part of this um, front body. So I'll be sewing from one side, one end to another end. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix my side. But before fixing my side, I'll be in the process of fixing my side, I'll be applying a gum to the side do you understand the importance of that gum is to make you adjust readjust to the side before sewing it do you understand it's only nice for you to sew it and then you notice that this part is kind of um not smooth or something and you lose it again so the that's the purpose of you applying the gum and then attaching it to the body side so you can readjust you can adjust and readjust before sewing it so once i'm done with that the next thing i need to do now is to repeat the same process for the other side though the sewing i'll be doing that of the camera yeah i'll be doing the sewing of the camera so now once i'm done with that that leads us to the last stage of this um bag so the last stage in which i'll be fixing my highlight to it do this time so i'll be needing four pieces of highlight in total so i'll be fixing my highlight to it and then i'll be doing that off the camera as well so once i'm done fixing the eyelid the next thing i need to fix now is my back chain my back strap in which i'll be making use of a chain if you want to learn how to make this type of chain please check in the description box you'll find the link to the video so now we've come to the end of today's tutorial and thank you so much for sticking this far i appreciate you even though you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the thumbs up and don't forget to share don't forget to like and then if you know you're a first time viewer don't forget to subscribe as well thank you so much see you later bye